It's here, my friends, the 7mm PRC. It is publicly out there. I have been hearing rumors about the 7 PRC for several months, and I've shared them on this channel when I've talked to some industry people who know what's going on. And so we've talked about those, but now it's out there. It's on the SAMI website, just off the press. This cartridge, mark my words, is one we're gonna be talking about for many, many years to come. And I don't say that lightly because a lot of new cartridges come out that are frankly just a little footnote or we don't even mention them when they come out on this channel. But this one, I'm telling you, this one is gonna be big. So when Hornady announced the 300 PRC, it got SAMI certified about four months before it was publicly announced. And so this new seven millimeter PRC just barely got SAMI certified. And so I would expect to hear Hornady start talking about this in the fall. That's the exact same timeline that a certain Hornady employee told me that they were targeting at SHOT Show. They've been holding on to this cartridge for a while, but because of all the insanity in the world, you know, it wasn't exactly the best time to be releasing a new cartridges. So first, what is this cartridge? Well, if, when you look at the SAMI specs, at the top right, it kind of gives, you know, the bullet weight and velocity that they're trying to achieve with this cartridge. And when I saw that, that got me excited. It's a 180 grain bullet at 2950. You guys have heard me several times on this channel say before that really the ultimate hunting combo for me when we we're doing cartridge wars would be 180 grains at 3000 feet per second. It's just a perfect match of pretty flat trajectories depending if we can get high BC bullets um, and 180 grains at 3000 is just gonna clobber anything you shoot. So I'm excited to see that it is in that class. Let's look at some other cartridges that are also in that same class. 28 Nosler has just more velocity than this. It's very overboard, that 28 Nosler. The most comparable cartridge to this 7 PRC is the Gunworks 7 LRM. 300 Win Mag and 300 Wisdom are, you know, they can also shoot those heavier bullets, but they would also do a 180 at 3000, so they're very similar. Then we see the 7 Mag. It, so this new cartridge is just a little bit faster than what a 7 mag would be. Okay, but now I wanna compare the 7 PRC, not necessarily to the cartridges that are most like it, but to just some very, very common hunting cartridges so that you can get a sense for what this thing does. So if we take these bullet weights and velocities, which are kind of similar, I'm kind of mimicking Hornady's Precision Hunter line of ammo with most of these, you can see that the 7 PRC has substantially more energy than any of these other cartridges given these combinations. The effective range, what? <laughs> Look at that. This is the max effective range of all of these cartridges. And for that, I'm saying 2000 feet per second. When the bullet drops below 2000 feet per second, we're saying uh, that it loses the max effective range. The 7 PRC goes out to 910 yards. That's nuts. I, no way I'm shooting game at that far, but it's cool to have it. The drop at 400 yards. Now, this is really interesting. For those of you who just have no interest in long range shooting, you're just a hunter, you know, 400 yard shots, fairly common. Most people, if you're shooting in mountain kind of territory, it happens all the time. So look at that drop at 400. Man, you just have a lot less to mess with compared to uh, even a 300 wind mag, and then wind drift or wind deflection at 400 yards. Are you kidding me? In a 10 mile an hour wind, full value, this thing would only drift five inches at 400 yards. That's crazy. So for those of you who are not the long range shooters, you know, you're a hunter. You wanna hunt, you know, whatever, 200 yards. Let's look for you now at the maximum point blank range. So this is, if you just say, I never want to dial my scope, I never want to adjust for anything, I'm just shooting if that animal is close to me, right? So what distance will the bullet never rise above or below a four inch pipe, right? So if you were shooting a seven mag, which is known for being fairly flat shooting, a seven mag would take that maximum point blank range out to about 230 yards. A 30-06, 
would give you 210 yards of maximum point blank range. The 7 mm PRC would take you out to 265 yards. And so again, I, I do wanna reiterate, it's not just for the long range shooter. Even if you're a medium short distance hunter, this still has major applicability for you. Okay, I wanna turn off all of the hype for a minute because you can tell that I'm pretty excited about this cartridge. And anytime there's a new cartridge, the thing that we hear over and over again is, oh, we could already do this. And so these numbers that I've shared, yeah, that's really cool. But you could already do the same thing with the 28 Nosler. 28 Nosler's been out for years now. And so why this? There are a few good reasons. One, the 28 Nosler was just too overbore. I've heard from many people that have got fewer than a thousand shots before their barrel was burned out on a 28 Nosler. So it's just too much. It's just 10 or 15% too much on that 28 Nosler. And this takes that step down to give you reasonable barrel life, reasonable recoil that we're going to be talking about. So it just fits a nice sweet spot in a modern cartridge. So if you're saying it's barely any different than the 7 mag, just stuff a little bit more powder in your 7 mag and you got this. Now you're not wrong because they're both seven millimeter cartridges. They can both take some of the same bullets, but the seven PRC can take much longer bullets. And so the seven mag, usually it, it's only 160, 162 grains is you know, the more common grain weights with a seven mag. This is you know, 180 grain bullets and I'm sure we're gonna see heavier ones once this thing gets out. And so that's a big advantage because when the bullets get heavier, they've got to stay, stay the same diameter, right? To stay seven millimeter, but to get heavier, they're getting longer. And because, and that's going to give us higher BCs because we don't have to cut any more wind, but we get extra, extra weight behind us to keep that thing maintaining its velocity. So let's talk about BC. This is the reason so many people are crazy about seven millimeter, and I might count myself among them. 30 cal allows for some really heavy grain weights, but you don't get as high of a BC because we just have a bigger frontal area. So on something like the, that 300 PRC, shooting that 225 grain bullet, our G7 BC is 391. Those of you, if it's kind of hurting your head, you don't really understand BCs yet, just think of BC as the ability of the bullet to maintain its velocity, to not slow down as it's going. And weight and the sleekness of the bullet are gonna do that. If it helps your brain, just call it aerodynamics. And the higher the number, the better here, okay? The 300 PRC, 0.391. You know, we look at the 6.8 Western shooting that 175 grain bullet, and that'd get you to 0.339. And then we look at the 300 WSM, the 300 Win Mag, shooting 180 grain bullets, and that would get you 0.275. But if you shoot the same 180 grain bullet in a seven millimeter, and these, these are all ELD match bullets, you'd get up to 0.401 on the G7. That much higher BC is gonna mean less wind deflection. You don't have to worry about the wind blowing your bullet and less drop of that bullet, it's a very big deal. And so that's why people really love sevens. Now, it's not as if there haven't been seven millimeter bullets before the seven PRC, but this is one of the first modern sevens where we can shoot those really high BC long bullets. Let's take a look at recoil. You'll see seven PRC is really right in the middle of the pack for all of these cartridges in terms of recoil energy. Now I've said before on this channel that I think 28 foot pounds of energy, of recoil energy and up is too much for your average shooter. You should know that this is going to be right up on the edge of what your average passionate shooter is going to be able to shoot well, unless you're putting a muzzle device on this cartridge. But really, the reason that I say that we're going to be talking about this for many, many years to, to come 
is because of Hornady's track record. I mean, when I go to the gun store today, it's 6.5 Creedmoor guns, 6.5 PRC guns, and everything else, and half of those are 300 PRC guns. I mean, Hornady is just dominating the cartridge marketing game. And for good reason, they're making good cartridges. Other companies are too, but Hornady is dominating it. When they come out with a cartridge, it's working. And so when they're releasing a seven, I, their track record is impressive of getting this out. I think one reason is they're not a rifle maker. You know, when Nosler, when Weatherby come out with a cartridge, the other rifle makers don't want to do that. They don't want to make a Ruger rifle and a Weatherby cartridge, right? That's Weatherby stuff. We don't want to advertise them. And so the fact that, that Hornady doesn't make guns, I think really helps the situation. You know, even Nosler does make some guns and it hurts it. It makes other companies not wanting to participate in it. Plus, I think Hornady has been pretty smart about what they've released. You know, these Nosler and Weatherby cartridges, it's just about how much powder can we stack in there max speed. And that's not really, really what people want. They're wanting, you know, good performing cartridges that are still reasonable, aren't gonna bar burn out your barrel super fast, crazy high recoil, etc. So let's talk about that. Barrel length is gonna be an issue on this gun. Um, it's gonna wanna be in 24 and 26 inch barrels most of the time. Of course you can chop off more, you're just gonna lose more of the velocity, but you know, a 22 inch barrel in a seven millimeter weight and a seven PRC, the seven PRC is still gonna be faster, but it is kind of the same as any other, if that makes sense. Now, barrel life is going to be a little bit shorter on this guy. My best guess looking at seven mag and what we might expect there, and then looking at 28 Nosler and what we might expect there and kind of putting this in the middle there, my guess is it's gonna be around 1,500 shots of barrel life. Again, 28 Nosler is probably under 1,000 and seven mag is probably around 2,000. So I'm, I'd kind of put this in the middle of around 1,500 is my best guess. The one kind of person that I think will struggle with this gun is if you rely on factory ammo. 6.5 PRC and 300 PRC ammo have been unobtainium for the last two years. And so why jump into a new cartridge that's gonna be extremely hard to find? Hopefully things will normal, normalize over time, but we got elections coming up and things can get crazy just like that as they have before. If you're a reloader like me and you're making your own ammo, then it doesn't matter to me that much if it's very difficult to find because as long as I got primers, powder, and bullet, if I get some brass cases, you know, 200, 300 pieces, that could last me years of loading and reloading and reloading that same cartridge. And so the availability doesn't matter nearly as much. Because it's Hornady releasing it, given the track record of 300 PRC and 6.5 PRC, I would expect that we're gonna see a slate of gun manufacturers chambering things in 7 PRC, maybe starting this fall. So is the 7 PRC groundbreaking and it's gonna change everything in the firearms industry? No, not at all. We already have some modern 7 cartridges. 7 millimeters been around for a lot of while, a long time, and this is just really a new container to put it in. But if you want every ballistic advantage, if you enjoy shooting long range, even if it's not for hunting, and you want something with a lot of thump, but is still reasonable for the average guy to be able to shoot well, I think this cartridge is gonna hit a nice sweet spot. And if Hornady's track record is anything to compare this to, my guess is we're gonna be talking about seven PRC for a long time.